These are last year's trees. And now we have this year's trees, and this is it. This will fulfill our dream for having an orchard. What we have here, we've got a Stanley prune. Hmm, yum, yum, yum. Prune, Claude Violet Claude Prune or the Queen Claude Violet Prune. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. What do we have over here? Oh, persimmons. Yes. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, by the way, means yummy, yummy in French. It's just a way of saying mmm. Then we have persimmon here. Look how adorable they are. Oh. Yep, it's the same. Oh, this is the first time we had, uh, we bought two of the same variety. Wow. And then over here, we have got a Cox orange apple. That's gonna be interesting. Color's gonna be nice. these off for Justin and then over here is another variety of apple the raining <laughs> the rennet I forget what rennet is raining white raining variety of Canada white rain of Canada I don't know but that is wow cool oh we got another prune oh was that a plum over the other side yeah those are plums over there and oh. these are nectarines Ah, nectarines. Okay, I'm... And nectarina. This is the first time we bought two of the same variety. So we have the same persimmon variety, and we have the same nectarine variety. Medium to large, round fruit, yellow at first, orangey red when ripe, astringent, October through November. Mm. Let's go for a walk. Have a little sit down, shall we? <sighs> so, as you can see, we are using a three tier ladder from a company called Sontor. I believe that's the maker. First impressions very sturdy, heavy, but yet lightweight, especially when you have it on the third tier. It does take two people to manage, definitely. One thing that we've learned is that in order for you to clasp the safety clips you need to have the ladder at a slight angle and that's only because of the railings here they're kind of 
uh, tilted in a way that the clasp will only fit into the uh, rectangle bars that way. So that was a learning experience. So that's good. It is wobbly, especially when I don't have support below, which is Justin holding the ladder. So he's like this. And when you get to the second tier, it does feel quite flimsy and it is a bit terrifying at first, but then you get used to it. So that's good. Overall, I think it was a good buy. There is a leveler here on the side, so it has two red areas and a green area, and that lets you know whether or not the, um, the ladder is balanced well. I think I can probably give myself another five years of doing this type of work before I need to start hiring uh, somebody a little bit more I guess limber. No, 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 because I'm quite limber. Uh, am I limber? That's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to finish up my break here, tackle up the rest. Still have quite a while to go, as you see. We've only got a quarter of it done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought so. Oh, okay. This is the progress here. Nice and cleaned up. Hello everyone. We hope that you are all doing well and are healthy and happy. Welcome back to another How I Style video. Our last one did very, very well. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to listen to you, the viewers, our friends. And if you like these kind of videos, then I am definitely up for making them. This is our kitchen, as you can see. Uh, you know, we didn't share a lot of our renovation process with you. We shared clips here and there throughout a scatter of videos. So I'll ask you to revert back to our older ones and see what we did. But basically, Justin and I had the tedious task of ripping out all the cabinetry, taking down the wallpaper and removing all the shelving within the pantry, which is that little dark area to the left. We hired a contractor who uh, said that the most easiest thing to do was to put in drywall, what they call placo here in French. And that saved us the time from having to rip off the tile off of the walls. That went about um, a little less than a quarter of a way from the ceiling. So those were covered up and Just and I just painted. Our contractor knew a person who had 20 plus years experience working with travertine. So instead of removing the penny terracotta tiles, we decided to leave them on and then just place the flooring with travertine, which I absolutely love. Like I would never ever want to go back to that terracotta or any dark flooring. I'm obsessed with travertine. I'm obsessed with marble, just stone, light color, and light colors. And I am just so thrilled with it. As you can see, this is our little pantry. We have one little shelving unit that I found at an Emeu. This was not a shelf, it's a, it's a rustic bench, but I thought it would be a good idea to lay all of my confit pots on there. Since we no longer have the shelving unit from floor to ceiling, I am using these confit pots as our food storage pots, utensil pots, um, dishwashing pots, oil pots, whatever it is that I can manage, I put into these little pots. Now, what I love about having just this commode here is that it really limits me from bringing in things from the grocery store. I tell you, when we had the floor to ceiling shelving, it felt like I was becoming a little bit of a pack rat when it came to food. I was literally collecting a stockpile and that was absolutely unnecessary. So I love this. It's manageable. It's easy to organize. 
Uh, we have baking on the right, spices on the left, below to the left are canned goods, and to the right are little snacks and pastas and whatnot. And then up on the top, again, I'm limited with the space, so I've got a couple of bakeware, um, Ziploc, well, they're not Ziploc bags, but they're the plastic ones, which are very eco-friendly. And this is definitely manageable. To the right are just teas and some decaf coffees. And I'm really happy with this commode. We have been living in this space now for uh, about, what, since May, I think. And, you know, at first we thought, okay, what are we gonna do without the lack of counter space, without the lack of shelving? It's been absolutely fine. Just recently, I thought of taking this rustic bench from the Potter's Cottage, another find from Emmaus, thank you, Justin, and I thought how cute it would be to place in between our windows. So that area will make a great prop area, especially for our Etsy shop, which you can find us at French Country Friends. So this kitchen will definitely be evolving and changing over time, but I think what's not going to change is having any over uh let's say over the top cabinetry well anyways cabinetry cabinetry i am having a hard time saying that how about cabinets cabinets either on the top or counter space on the bottom i think it's absolutely unnecessary we found this amazing table at this brocante and it is our workbench our um, eating table it's everything this is a little table that was left for us by the previous owner, and that is now our beverage station. So we have our coffees and teas, toasters, and whatnot. I did not know that I was going to be able to work in a kitchen like this. I think this is what you would call a freestanding kitchen. And before cabinets were made, and I think it was up until the 50s, that's when they decided, oh, we need to make um, wall-to-wall cabinets. Well this is not the case for us. And we actually are functioning very, very well. So I think that's why I've kind of put off this video because I always thought that we were gonna add shelving, we were gonna add more furniture. I think though, to be fair, that I would like to add a unit like that rustic bench for this wall here that leads into the pantry. Ah yes, my basket collection, uh, <laughs> it is growing, but they are so useful, just like those comfy pots. I love the views from our kitchen. It has to be now one of my favorite spaces. I mean, it's just calming. I love the mole color, beige, grayish, Ooh, uh, cream. It really depends on the time of the day. It's ever changing. Hello, Luffy. And again, these comfy pots are my storage units. Everything that we find, mostly everything, I think 90% of the things that we bring home, except for the appliances, are found at Brocante's, Vide Grenier's, or charity shops. And I'm absolutely okay with that. We still have to put in trim along the bottom along the the uh, travertine and we also would like to put travertine not travertine um sorry floor not floorboards well oh, i'm having a hard time talking trim along the ceiling too just to kind of elevate the space and make it look nice for years i told myself i wasn't gonna buy a dishwasher it's not energy efficient but you know when you run an airbnb and you're providing breakfast lunch or dinner well no longer lunch and dinner, but I'll get to that another time. Breakfast and between Justin and myself or when we have guests, a dishwasher is definitely needed. <laughs> For most of our tableware, we use our dining room. There is a huge armoire in there, as you will see or have seen, and that's where we store many of our things and it, at first it was a little inconvenient. Oh, we have to walk into the next room, but it's not that it's very far. It's just on the other side of the wall. So we just walk over there and using trays are very helpful to help me carry a bunch at one time. This is kind of another slash pantry pot area.
hopefully that gave you a little idea of how we use our kitchen. We don't have a lot of appliances. We don't have mixers. I try to use as minimal as possible. For example, the little salt jar I was using to crush walnuts. I mean, you know, and instead of a blender, I'm using a fork. Um, so yeah, everybody, thank you so much for joining us in today's video and taking a look at our kitchen. I would love, love to know if this is a type of space that you can see yourselves working in. What kind of kitchen do you have and is it practical for you? Do you find that the more space and nooks and crannies that you have, that the more things you fit inside of those spaces? Let me know, please, in the comments below. God, fall is here. You can smell it in the air. You can see it in the color. I'm loving, loving the changes. I wish you all well. Have a great, great Friday and a rest of weekend. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye, friends. Au revoir.